Hello Sycamore, happy Monday and happy February 13th, 2023. Now we welcome you to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Corey. And hello, I'm Savannah. We're so excited to have this great opportunity to join you guys on the daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place our hand over our hearts, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Check your emails throughout the day. Be informed on important information, especially now with so much going on. Don't miss out on scheduling for next year. And yes, be PBIS responsible, young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be positive problem solvers. In fact, let's go over to Sam Vector showing us what main office doors that students can use and the only, and the only one that we can't. It's usually for attendance purposes. If you have a medical note, early dismissal, or late arrival. Thank you. Yippee! Okay, I got it. Look at this diagram. Got it. Awesome. That's all, that all makes sense now. Students can go in any door except the one that is marked with the sign staff only. And um, it's helpful to know which door we can go to for different needs. Now over to Leland with today's Black History Month recognition, Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes, a Black History Month story by Leland Anderson and Kyra Clark. Now you're probably wondering, who is Langston Hughes? His full name, James Mercer Langston Hughes, was an American poet, social activist, novelist, playwright, and columnist from Joplin, Missouri. One of the earliest innovators of the literary art form called jazz poetry. Hughes is best known as a leader of the Harlem Renaissance. Some of his poems. One of his most famous poems to date are Mother to Son, about a mother telling her son the difficult journeys and struggles through life. The most influential poem he wrote was Dreams. This poem was about how to not hold on to things for long and to be more laid back. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for listening. If you want more, check out the Black History Month tab on the History Channel. See you and goodbye. Wow, thanks Leland and thanks for those wonderful contributions. Now over to Mr. Harris with our Students of the Week. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and at this time it gives me great pleasure to present this week's Student of the Weeks. Remember, all of our Student of the Weeks have been nominated by various teachers for their PBIS attributes of being safe, being responsible, being problem solver, and being respectful. So our first one is Tanuja Vanu, 
And she was nominated by Mrs. Abbas Lee. So congratulations. There's your Chick-fil-A. Gotta love the Chick-fil-A. And there's your certificate. Thank you. Our next one is Janie Rowland. Hi, Janie. All right. Janie was nominated by Mrs. Beatty. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Janie, there's your Chick-fil-A. And there's your certificate. Congratulations, dear. And last but not least, Emma Brilovich. Emma was nominated by Mrs. Adams, and she was nominated for being safe, for being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So, Emma, there's your Chick-fil-A, and there's your certificate, and we'd like to thank all of our, we'd like to thank all of our Student of the Week nominees for this, and remember, you two can be nominated for Student of the Week for being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. That's it. Have a great day. We'll see you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Students of the Week. Next up, did, did you, you know? Did you know it would it would cost eighteen point three million to make a replica Darth Vader suit? Sure, an exact Darth Vader replica would make an awesome Halloween costume, but it's probably a little over budget. According to Time, it would cost an average person eighteen point three million to take a real life replica of the infamous black suit that features a voice modifier, breathing apparatus, prosthetic limbs, and an augmented reality filter. Next up, National, National Day. Day. Today is National Valentine's Day. National Valentine's Day is a day that celebrates women and how strong their friendships are. Let's all celebrate friendships with our friends and love one another. <laughs> Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to celebrating the day, Finn S. and Sophia T. Happy staff birthdays to Miss Andreola and Miss Henson. Have a wonderful day. Yes, happy birthday to all celebrating today and over the weekend. Hope you have an amazing day. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, we have a correction. We the people, you're going to meet this Thursday, but you're going to meet in the media center. So we the people, you're going to meet at 7 in the morning on Thursday in the media center. Bring your books, graphic organizers, and supplies for unit work. Make sure you check campus for the latest updates and to get your graphic organizers. For each lesson within your units, please print off an organizer. Hey, on Wednesday, we'd like everybody to wear blue this Wednesday, all right, to recognize International Angel Man Day. So wear your blue. Students, the PBIS store will be open this Friday in the cafeteria. So make sure when you go to lunch this Friday, bring your first class tickets so you can redeem them for some cool, cool prizes. Email Mrs. Jarvis at jarviskaysycamoreschools.org if you're interested in working on in our high school robotics team the remainder of this season. Our next meeting is today after school from 3 to 5 p.m. Make sure you arrange your own ride home from school because we ain't taking you home. Any boys interested in playing boys lacrosse this spring, there will be an informational meeting tomorrow, when, uh, Tuesday, February 14th, during Flex in the Old Gym. If you have questions, please see or email Mr. DeJoy. Now, to attend these sports meetings, because we got way too many people running around the hallways doing stuff they're not supposed to do, you will need a pass to attend any of these athletic meetings. So, if you need a pass with the boys lacrosse meeting tomorrow, please see Coach Harris, that's me, in room 213, or Coach DeJoy in the athletic office. Partners Club, you're going to meet on Wednesday, February 15th, right after school in the media center. We're going to play some fun games, art projects, and as always, get our grub on with a delicious snack. New members are always welcome. We hope you can be there. That's all for me. You guys have a great day. It's a beautiful Monday outside for a change, so make sure you guys enjoy the day. And listen, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Now it's time for Joke of the Day. What do you call a detective alligator? I don't know. An investigator. <laughs> we love a good investigator. <laughs> Stay extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow PBI's expectations every day. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend, weekend and, and go, go Aves and, and stay classy and cincy.